Hi Virgo, this is Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I think. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. Let's see what my crunchy cards has for you today, Virgo. Let me open up my solar plexus for lovely and amazing Virgo. Okay, okay. Universe, Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah. Six of Pentacles. Give me some more Pentacles for Virgo. Virgo needs Pentacles. Come on. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Moses. Take care of Virgo. Why do I feel the devil coming out? Now that I said it, hopefully it won't. Okay, Tower. That's not that right card. That don't belong on there. But you know what? I'm going to leave that there because it came out. Mm -hmm. That goes into a different deck. Interesting. <laughs> hey, are my cards screwed up? Okay, I think we're good, Virgo. I think we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> All right. Did you just recently have a conversation with somebody about them not doing their part, you know, and it's almost like, well, if you're not going to do your part, I'm not going to do mine. I also kind of feel like maybe for some of you guys, you gave them an ultimatum. Oh, Lord. Come on, bring it up. Angels, bring us up. Mm, look at all them. So, all right, King of Pentacles, I will take that. Yes, boo. I will take the King of Pentacles. Um, you got a lot of uh, pentacles on the table. Well, you got four. Hey, you got the ace of pentacles too. Yes, Virgo. You are struggling for this new beginning because you're stuck in your head. Ugh, anxiety. Ooh, angels are saying you're afraid of the truth. You know how some people are afraid of the unknown? I feel like for you, Virgo, you're afraid of the known. Right? I feel like somebody could, to an extent, you could have received a message. You could have received information about an offer that fell way below your expectations. I feel like you rejected it. You didn't want it. It it, it was like, y'all shouldn't have even made that offer. Y'all just wasted your breath, your email, or your paper. Because that was some bullshit. Also, at the same time, I do kind of feel like something... Right? The universe is trying to deliver something to you. But for some reason right now, Virgo, you're not in a position to accept it. <laughs> I just heard you're blinded by your anxiety right now. I'm also hearing, too, that you are misinterpreting whatever this offer is. Right? Because she's sitting there with all those swords through her window so if she ever wanted to look at the sunset to an extent, she got to see the swords and the sunset. So who, whomever is making this offer to you, you're seeing the offer through the eyes of, you know, your past, what it is you're thinking, your limited thinking, your anxious thinking, your nervous thinking, whatever it is. If you're insecure, you're looking at it through that. You're not seeing something clearly, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you, guys. Because I do kind of feel like this person, this situation, somebody is trying to give to you. They're trying to do something. Angels just said, this is you, Virgo. I feel like to, for, for some of you guys, to an extent, you're trying to stay afloat, whatever that means to you. And to an extent, you were relying on this Ace of Pentacles that the page is holding. Well, here it is right here. Right? So come up out of this space and this energy. Angels just said to me, Virgo, you're too, too either depressed, either disconnected, numb, you know, detached, whatever it is, you got to get over that, right? Ten of swords, you're bottomed out. You don't know what to think anymore. You got too much shit on your mind. You're freaking overwhelmed, right? And to an extent, instead of like dealing with being overwhelmed, anxiety, anxious or whatever, instead, you just kind of check out. But this card here basically says that, listen, you have blessings. There are reasons to be grateful. But for some reason, you guys are just not focused on that right now. You're emotionally checked out. You're mentally cluttered. 
Look at all them damn swords, Virgo. You're, to say that you were in your head is a gross understatement. And Angel just said Alpha and Omega. So this to me is you guys need everything under the swords from the ace to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten page knight, queen, and king. It's almost like you need to go through this entire process of seeking clarity. I'm also hearing negative thoughts, right? The negative thoughts that you may be telling yourself, um, perhaps is you that's telling yourself or having these negative thoughts that's causing you to be emotionally disconnected. Oh, angels say, are saying that I feel like maybe for some of you guys, if you are experiencing this because you're quote unquote heartbroken over this King of Pentacles, I feel like there was something that you wanted um, that I feel like for a lot of you guys, it could have been in reach, could be a job, right? It could be a promotion. You know what I mean? It was something that you were wanted, you were wanting. And I feel like to an extent, you might have felt like you were a shoe in. Hell, some of you guys might have gotten the job and then learned, holy shit, this is not what I wanted. This is not what I expected. This is not what y'all told me this position was about, right? And as I'm saying that these cards, <laughs> these cards are just screaming at me because it was almost like once you got started, you realized that again, whatever it was that they were telling you was not the case, right? Oh, y'all said I can get every weekend off. Yeah, they're like, okay, that's after your first year, right? Like, <laughs> sorry, I just feel like, it, it feels basically like you're in a pickle, Virgo, in all honesty. But again, is this you, you know, self-imposing? Is this you putting yourself in a pickle? Or to an extent, is this situation? Now, here's why I don't think it's necessarily this situation. Because you got amazing pentacles on this table. So you do have an opportunity for a new beginning, a new job, a new path, right? You just got to get better at, to an extent, reading the fine print, figuring out what are the knowns, but more importantly, what are the unknowns, right? This seven of cups represents illusions, having multiple options. If for those of you who this is resonating as a relationship, this could have been somebody who you wanted, you thought were a perfect match, match, but to an extent, there could have been something that you overlooked about them. Maybe you got too emotional about them too quick before learning who they were. And maybe who they were was somebody who just wanted to date casually versus commit to a specific relationship. <laughs> I'm hearing, well, they should tell you that up front. If you ask the question, they'll let you know. This King of Swords is, is ridiculously honest. He'll tell you the good, the bad, the ugly in one, in one breath, right? But to an extent, you know, do you seek that clarity? Did you inquire? Did you ask? Right? For if it's a if it's a job, did you look at the requirements? Did you look again? Did you read the fine print? And I feel like again, whatever the confusion was here, whether it was a relationship, whether it was a job, I feel like for you, Virgo, you were let down grossly, right? You were grossly let down. And so much to the point where, like I said, now you're all up in your head not wanting to move, not wanting to make any decisions, not wanting to move on onto this new path, this new beginning, right? Um, Angels just said to me, because for a lot of you guys, you feel like you were duped. Excuse me. Duped again for the relationship that you thought this was your person, but they were dating around. Job that you were a shoe in for this position and learned that there were possibly other candidates who were more qualified than you. What I'm also hearing too, for a lot of you guys, you could be in a dark place as a result of this, kind of depressed. Um, yeah, I feel like with this tower card that was misplaced, right, in the wrong deck, I feel like for you specifically, Virgo, um, you're the four of cups right now. You're just down and out. I'm also hearing for some of you too, you tried to take on more than you could handle at one particular time. 
But, you know, Virgo is ruled by Mercury. Mercury is a fast-moving planet. You guys will rebound in no time. Okay? So feel what it is that you're feeling. Go ahead and see reality for what it is. Bless yourself with truth, honesty, care, and love. And Virgo, you're going to um, recuperate from this quicker than you know. All right, let's look at the Universe Has Your Back Oracle cards. The presence of love will always cast out fear. Yeah. Well, go ahead and, and, and again, like I said, start working on yourself. Start, start loving yourself. Whatever this was, it kind of knocked you out of commission momentarily. I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. Listen to your gut. Listen to your gut and pay attention to how you feel and feel what it is that you feel. Don't deny yourself those feelings. Please, Virgo. But at the same time, stay out of your head because I feel like some of your thoughts to an extent are destructive. They're destructive. They're not do they're not serving you any purpose. You know, they're hurting you more than they're helping you. But I do kind of feel like, especially with that King of Swords and the Ace of Swords, things are about to become very, 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 very clear for you. Clear to you. And again, the Scorpio, you know, Tower card says that. Whatever it is you're experiencing here, this too shall pass. It'll be broken down immediately and you will be back in it. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Yeah, pick yourself up, dust yourself off. Get back in the game, Virgo. Take time to, to breathe out. I love that. Discerning moon. Take time to breathe out. I feel like that says take time to breathe out and, you know, see the situation for what it uh, what it was. Be very honest with yourself and be very loving to yourself. Don't spend this time, you know, allowing yourself to be anxious, allowing yourself to be in your head, allowing yourself to feel stuck and imprisoned. That's not what this time is for. OK. All right, Virgo, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Um, if the reading does resonate, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're interested in a personal reading, my contact details are below. I love you, Virgo. Bye.